What's good, you two? It is Demi God Schmerdy here, and welcome to a new series on the channel, or rather, like the intro for my new live stream series. Because if you guys didn't know, we beat the Skylanders Giants repose lock last week, and next week I'm officially going to be starting the live streams. For the new series on the channel which is the Skylanders Imaginators Imagine Lock. Now I would just like to start out by saying um, thanks everybody to showing up to the live streams. Uh, it, like it really means a lot. You have no idea. Um, but then um, I also wanted to say that this is not going to interfere with my Imaginators playthrough. Um, because I've already pre-recorded all of the episodes of Imaginators. I'm just uploading them once a week on Thursdays. Um, and that's going to continue for the rest of the summer, probably. Um, and then, yeah, this is like a completely separate thing. We've already finished the Imaginators playthrough. I've seen the ending already, so you don't have to worry about that. I've played... All of the adventure pack levels. Um, but yeah, that's just like, just a reminder, this isn't going to interfere with my original Imaginator series. If you guys enjoy watching that, that's still going to be going on. So, the Imagine Lock is based off of Crash the Skylands, Im Skylanders, Imaginators, Imagine Lock, which of course is um, like where we get the ideas for all of the locks that we post on the channel and or that we stream I guess um but yeah this this one in particular is like I wanted to do this because I wanted to share with you guys my imaginators really I wanted to show you guys um how different and cool some of my imaginators are so um, I'm doing this sort of trailer thing, well, not really a trailer, because the video is going to be like 20 minutes long when I give you guys all their backstories. It, like, I, I wanted to do this, and yes, I'm going to have gameplay of all of the Imaginators in the background. Uh, yeah, okay, so here we go. These are the 10 Skylanders Imaginators who will be participating in the Imagine Lock. First up, we have our Dark Element Imaginator, Demon King Demigod Shmurda of the Sorcerer class. As his name suggests, Demigod Shmurda is the Demon King of Skylands, and with that honor comes amazing power. He fires energy from his staff, summons lightning, and he can transform into a dark shadow. Demon King Demigod Shmurda is a master of sorcery, but nobody really knows how he came into existence. Some say that he's a dark portal master. Others say that he's an ancient. Whatever it is, the Skylanders are lucky that he doesn't have Eon in his crosshairs. Next up we have our Life Element Imaginator, Sonicraft of the Bowslinger class. At first he was just a random collection of parts. But when people looked at him, they saw a random collection of parts. But he knew he wanted to be a hero, and when he met a portal master, everything changed for him. The portal master taught him to fight using styles that he came up with himself, using a bow and explosive arrows, and even plants that he could grow out of the ground and explode. One day, while he was heading out to train, the portal master that had been training him had left Skylands. But then he was found by Master Eon. Eon wanted to add him to the Book of Skylands. But when Eon asked him his name, he panicked. He didn't have one. Then he thought about the portal master that had trained him. Surely he'd left Skylands for a reason, and surely he wouldn't be coming back anytime soon. He decided that since the portal master that trained him was no longer here, that it was okay that he'd passed more than his training on to him. He'd passed on his legacy. He'd passed on his name. Sonicraft, he said. My name is Sonicraft. The 
Next up, we have our Earth Element Imaginator, Mr. Redstone of the Sentinel class. One day, Mr. Redstone was bored while staying on his island of solitary confinement, so he decided to venture out into the world, and coincidentally, he ended up in Skylands. He began searching for a way to get home as soon as he landed, however, because he gained powers that he never had before. He was freaked out and scared. He walked for three days straight and ended up on a sh sort of academy where he met a group of people that didn't look like regular Minecraft villagers. There was a cat, a gerbil, a purple monster, and what he assumed was a deranged ferret. And yes, I'm talking about Flynn. He introduced himself as Mr. Redstone, but before he could get too comfortable, the Sky Eater tried to swallow the academy whole. Mr. Redstone finally realized why he'd been given powers. It was to protect people, and he had to protect these people at any cost. Mr. Redstone noticed a small island that the academy was attached to, and detached it from the academy, allowing them to escape. But at a cost, Mr. Redstone was sucked into the vortex himself. However, for Mr. Redstone, there's life after death. Okay, he's a character based on a Minecraft skin. Seriously, you can just hit the respawn button. Do not judge me. Next up, we have our Air Element Imaginator, Raptor of the Smasher class. Skylands used to be ruled by elemental dinosaurs, the most well-known of which are the Air Raptors. Raptor was a young raptor, much too young to fight, so when his family was attacked by a group of Pyrexes, remember this is Skylands, his father told him to run for his life. Raptor hid inside a small cave where he met a small bird family that took him as in as their own. They raised him until eventually he went into a long sleep. When he awoke, he was in modern-day Skylands, but something bad had happened to him while he was sleeping. He'd been living with the birds for longer than he expected, and his DNA had actually shifted. He'd spontaneously grown wings while he'd slept, but all of the skin on his arms had peeled off. He was in extreme pain. He could barely move. So a Master Eon appeared to him and said that he could make the pain go away in exchange for his help. Raptor didn't even hesitate to agree to Eon's terms. Now, Raptor continues to train and train and train every day to live up to his family's legacy. And just because the rest of his species is extinct doesn't mean that he's not a force to be reckoned with. Next up, we have our Water Element Imaginator, Squid of the Bazooker class. Squid lived in Shellmont Shores before the tourists had started coming there. It used to be a paradise. Then Chaos sent a brainstorm to attack Shellmont Shores, and its once beautiful home was reduced to rubble. Once the Skylanders showed up, Squid was inspired by them, and he knew that he had to help. He grabbed some explosives and an old sea urchin cannon and set off. Squid helped the senseis and imaginators defeat the swashbuckler Doomlander, and the senseis recognized his potential. They knighted him, and now he guards the academy. Now, along with his best friend Blink, they defend the academy from the darkness. And, you know, go out for shawarma when they get hungry. Next up, we have our Light Element Imaginator, Blink of the Ninja Class. Long story short, Blink is the Crystal Eye. Yes, the same Crystal Eye the Cyclops named their castle after, all the way back in Spyro's adventure. When Chaos destroyed the Core of Light, the Crystal Eye was flung from the Core and somehow came to life. It grew arms and legs and learned to speak, to an extent. Months later, it was found by Hugo, who took it to Master Eon, to ask if he could run some tests on it. Eon agreed, but only if he could train the Crystal Eye himself after Hugo was finished. Once Hugo finished testing, Eon began training the Crystal Eye to fight, which is when he met Squid, who gave him the name Blink. Next up, we have our Magic Element Imaginator, Rebel of the Night Class. Rebel used to be a stand-up guy living in the Soda Springs. That is, 
until the Doom Raiders escaped from Cloudcracker Prison and the Gulper destroyed his home, killing his wife and daughter in the process. After that happened, he went on a pretty dark story arc that I'm not going to get into, because this is still a Skylanders game after all. One night, he was taking down a group of bad guys when he was ambushed. He barely made it out alive. However, in all the commotion, he realized that his mask he had been melted onto his face. He began training to use a sword so that he had the range advantage against anyone that he decided to take down. And as it turned out, Demon King Demigod Shmurda was looking for someone who could wield a sword. Rebel reluctantly joined him, and the two then set off into the Outlands to train. Rebel, be Rebel quickly became a master of 70 different sword techniques, some that he came up with himself. Demigod Shmurda even gave him powers he'd never dreamed of having like bulletproof skin, night vision, and the ability to slow down time in front of him. Once his training was finished, Demigod Shmurda took him to see Master Eon, who reluctantly added to him to the Book of Skylanders. Maybe Rebel's methods are a little extreme, but at least he gets the job done, with only a small number of bodies in his wake. Next up, we have our undead element imaginator, Rusty of the Swashbuckler class. Nobody knows where Rusty came from. All we know is that he showed up on the academy doorstep one day with a missing leg. So instead of fixing Rusty's leg like a normal person, Mags gave Rusty a jetpack so that he didn't need his other leg. He, she also developed jetpack enhancements and boomerang swords that she could use for fighting. Shortly after that, however, Rusty sprang to life and stole Mags' new technology and explosives. Luckily for Mags, Rusty didn't know how to use them, so he couldn't make his escape. Mags took Rusty back to Eon, convinced that he could use her technology to protect Skylands. Eon agreed that with some training, Rusty could become a very powerful Skylander. Next up, we have our Fire Element Imaginator, Hot Feet of the Quickshot class. We know that Hot Head and Hot Dog are related, but did you know that they had a third? Hot Feet is the lesser known of the trio because she wasn't born with any fire abilities. When Hot Feet was asked to display her powers at school, she was scared and ran away from home so she could train in private. One day, while she was training by a lake, she met the sensei known as Tidepool, who just returned from a super secret mission. Hotfeet asked if Tidepool could train her, and the rest is history. Tidepool trained her to use custom-made blasters and fire mines to create the illusion that she had powers. With her training complete, Hotfeet returned home, only to see that Master Eon had stopped by for tea. Hotfeet showed Master Eon what she could do, and Eon liked what he saw. Eon made her a Skylander almost instantly, and her family couldn't be more proud of her. Finally, we have our tech element imaginator, Clockwork of the Brawler class. Ironically enough, Clockwork worked in the clock of Skylands for his whole life, and even more ironically, he wasn't very good at his job. His boss even banished him to the basement. One day, however, the Doom Raiders attacked the clock of Skylands, and even though he was banished, he wanted to do something to stop them. He made a custom set of gear-based armor he'd made out of old scraps he found lying around. But he'd also used a gear from the Clock of Skylands itself that turned out to still be functional. The gear he put in his helmet gave him slight control over time. On his way up to the Clock of Skylands, he invented a fighting style called Gear Fu, which involved heavy punches and turning into a motorcycle to run his foes over. He made it to the top of the clock by himself to confront Wolfgang with the Trapmasters, but Wolfgang escaped to who knows when. The Trapmasters weren't that worried, however, because Clockwork asked them if he could become a Skylander. The Trapmasters took him back to the Academy, and Master Eon made Clockwork a Skylander. Now Clockwork uses Gear Fu for the good of Skylands. So there y'all go. Those are the 10 Imaginators that are going to be in the Imagine Lock. That actually took a lot less time than I expected it to. <laughs> um, 
But yeah, uh, I had fun making these characters, and I'm going to have fun sharing them with you on uh, live streams starting next week. Um, although, full disclosure here, I don't know if I'm going to be able to stream every week starting next Tuesday because... One, we're going on family vacation, and I don't know when that's happening. And two, school starts, like, in a couple weeks uh, after this video and after the first live stream. It starts in a couple weeks, and that, honestly, like, I, I need to start preparing for that. So I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, but I feel like, I feel like, we're going to have some fun on these live streams, and I feel like I've accomplished what I wanted to do this summer. I wanted to expand my channel, I wanted to make some new friends, and I wanted to get some new Skylanders, which, spoiler alert, uh, I got Fire Kraken. Uh, he's chilling in this box, so when I finally decide to do a playthrough on Skylander Swap Force, I'm going to use him and give my opinion on him. I've also got Punk Shock down there, and I lost my first uh, wind-up, so I had to get a new one. It, it was weird. It was weird. But yeah, uh, I haven't unboxed any of this yet, but uh, I'm going to eventually. But yeah, that's the end of this video, guys. If you enjoyed it, please be sure to leave a like and a comment. That would be greatly appreciated. Also, subscribe to join Team Schmurda if you haven't already, and hit the bell <laughs> so that you can know whenever I upload one of these crap videos or stream. So, yeah. Peace out, guys. Demigod Shmurda, logging out.